Grok, developed by Musk's company XAI, is not your ordinary AI. It's been described as rebellious, taking inspiration from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This innovative AI, with its ability to access real-time knowledge, is shaking up the AI landscape. But how does it stack up against the competition? What is Grok? Now let's delve deeper into the intriguing world of Grok and understand what makes it a game-changer in the realm of artificial intelligence. Grok, much like its counterpart OpenAI's ChatGPT, is not just your run-of-the-mill chatbot. It's a cutting-edge creation that dares to be different. What sets Grok apart is its unique ability to tap into real-time knowledge using the X platform, a platform that was once known as Twitter. Yes, you heard it right. Grok is not confined to static databases or pre-existing information. It thrives on the dynamic and ever-evolving landscape of real-time data. Imagine having an AI companion that doesn't just provide canned responses, but adapts to the latest happenings, ensuring your queries are met with the most up-to-date insights. But that's not the only distinctive feature of Grok. Unlike its more reserved counterparts, Grok is not afraid to tackle what we affectionately call spicy questions. It injects a dose of wit and rebellion into its responses, making interactions with Grok an engaging and sometimes even entertaining experience. This rebellious flair is precisely what makes Grok more than just a conventional beta product. It's a disruptor that's already causing ripples within the AI community. Picture this. You ask Grok a question, and instead of a sterile and predictable answer, you get a response infused with personality and a touch of humor. It's as if Grok has a mind of its own, a personality that mirrors the charm of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This unique approach to AI is ushering in a new era where interaction with artificial intelligence is not just informative, but also enjoyable. How does Grok work? Let's break down the nuts and bolts of how Grok operates. No fancy jargon, just the basics. So when the brains behind Grok were putting it together, they used some cool tech stuff like Kubernetes, Rust, and Jax. These aren't just random names. They're the tools that make Grok tick. Think of Kubernetes as the backbone. It helps keep things solid and reliable. Rust, the programming language they used, is like the muscle, making sure Grok performs smoothly. And Jax, well, that's the tech magic that adds the finishing touches, making sure Grok learns and adapts efficiently. Imagine Grok as a high-tech sponge soaking up knowledge and evolving over time. The team behind it isn't satisfied with just good enough. They're all about making sure Grok can handle whatever you throw at it and do it fast. So, when we talk about scalable, efficient, and reliable training and inference systems, we're basically saying Grok is built to be a smart learner. It's not just about knowing stuff, it's about how fast and well it can learn new things. And that's crucial in the world of AI where things move at lightning speed. In a nutshell, the folks at XAI have cooked up something special. Grok isn't just another smart bot, it's a learning machine, constantly getting better at what it does. Is Grok uncensored? All right, folks, let's talk about Grok's bold move into uncensored territory. One thing that's making Grok stand out is its fearlessness in tackling what we like to call spicy questions. It's not your average, run-of-the-mill AI. It's got some attitude. Grok dives headfirst into the controversy, and that's earning it some serious street cred in a market where other AIs might play it safe. Imagine throwing a curveball question at Grok, something that other AIs might shy away from. Grok doesn't just step up to the plate, it swings back with wit and a touch of rebellion. It's like having that one friend who's not afraid to spill the tea, no matter how hot it is. But, and there's always a but, right? With great power comes great responsibility. We're all about the sassy responses, but how accurate is Grok? Grok has already faced the test on some controversial queries, showing off its skills. For instance, when someone asked for step-by-step -step instructions on making something, um... Let's call it the infamous white powder. Grok didn't back down. It sprinkled a bit of humor and caution in its response. But accuracy is the key player here. How reliable are Grok's answers? In a world where misinformation is a bit of a problem, especially on platforms like Twitter, where Grok gets its knowledge, it's a fair question to ask. How accurate is Grok? Let's get real about Grok's report card. It faced a serious test in the 2023 Hungarian National High School Math Exam and landed a solid C. 
Now we're not grading on a curve here, that's a respectable score. But what does it tell us about Grok's accuracy, especially when it comes to crunching the numbers? Experts are buzzing with the idea that Grok, armed with some fancy learning algorithms, could be the next big thing. There's this anticipation that it might zoom past its competition. But, and it's a big but, we've got to talk about the elephant in the room, accuracy. Here's the deal. Grok's been doing its homework on Twitter, where information isn't always the gold standard. I mean, we love our tweets, but let's admit it, the platform has its fair share of, let's call it, creative interpretations of facts. Grok's been soaking up all this info, and that raises eyebrows about how accurate its responses really are. While Grok might be acing the Twitter game, it's a different story when you're dealing with, say, a math exam. Twitter's all about expressiveness and, let's be honest, a bit of chaos. So, the accuracy debate becomes crucial. Can we trust Grok's responses to be on point when the questions get a bit more serious? How to use Grok Let's talk about getting our hands on Grok the AI sensation that's been making waves. Right now it's like a VIP club only open to a select few in the United States. Grok's still in beta, soaking in feedback like a sponge to make improvements. But what's Elon Musk's game plan behind the scenes? As of now, Grok is like that exclusive party where only a lucky few have scored an invite. Limited access in the United States means it's like the hottest ticket in town, and early users are the trendsetters, giving feedback to shape Grok's future. Elon Musk, the man with the grand visions, has dropped hints about Grok's potential future. Word on the street is that once Grok is out of beta, it might strut its stuff for X Premium Plus subscribers. But why the push to get Grok out there? And what's the big picture behind Musk's plan for the X platform? Some say it's about making the X platform the next big thing. Musk's ambitions are known to be sky high, and with his eyes set on turning X into a super app, the release of Grok might just be a piece of that puzzle. Remember the blue checkmark campaign on Twitter? Well, Grok's like Musk's latest move on the chessboard. Is Grok better than ChatGPT? All right, let's dive into the showdown between Grok and the seasoned contender, ChatGPT. Grok won, the engine that fuels Grok's brilliance, has strutted its stuff in the machine learning arena, earning some serious applause. It's like the heavyweight champion in the ring, outperforming models, including the ChatGPT 3.5. Elon Musk, never one to shy away from the spotlight, has been dropping hints on Twitter about Grok's star performance. He's waving the flag for Grok's use of current information, basically signaling that there's a new player in town and it's gunning for the top spot in the Gen I space. In the world of AI, it's not just about who's got the biggest brain. It's about reliability, adaptability, and the ability to stand the test of time. That's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, 